Hey guys, today we're going to look at inferences and random sampling. We're going to answer the question, how can I use data from a random sample to make predictions about a population? So an inference is a conclusion reached based on evidence and reasoning. So we're going to be making inferences or drawing conclusions based on some evidence and reasoning today. It is not always practical to collect data on an entire group or population, so to save time and money, researchers will collect data from a smaller part of the population called a sample. A good sample is selected at random, is representative of the population, and large enough to provide accurate data. So let's look at this first one. It says a middle school surveyed 150 students about their favorite elective. The results are listed in the table. So based on this survey, let's make a couple of inferences. So it looks like the most popular elective is band. So they surveyed 150 students and 50 out of those 150 said they liked band. That was the highest number um, that voted for their favorite elective. So our first inference that we could draw is that band is the most popular elective. The other conclusion I could draw would be that choir is the least preferred elective since only 10 people voted for that. And then the last one says, if there are about 900 students at the school, about how many can we predict would favor band? So I know that 50 out of the 150 surveyed said they prefer band. And I want to know how many out of the 900 would prefer band based on that survey result. I'm going to simplify this fraction by dividing both of those numbers by 50. So that sum, fraction simplifies to one third equals X over 900. And now this is much easier to work with. So I'm gonna cross multiply to solve this proportion. One times 900 is 900. And then three times X is three X. And then we're gonna divide by three and 900 divided by three is 300. So we would say about 300 students would prefer band based on that survey. All right, let's look at number two. A teacher randomly surveyed students at lunch one day and found that nine out of 20 were wearing watches. Based on this information, what is a reasonable prediction of the number of students wearing watches in a group of 120 students? So we know that based on the students that the teacher surveyed, nine out of 20 were wearing watches. And we want to know how many out of 120 students would be predicted to wear watches based off of that survey. So now let's cross multiply to solve. Nine times 120 is 1,080. And then 20 times X is 20X. And then I would divide by 20. And 1,080 divided by 20 is 54. So we would expect 54 students to be wearing watches out of 120 based on the teacher's survey. Number three says the local mall randomly surveyed 120 shoppers and finds that 45 of them come to the mall more than once a week. If an estimated 1,000 shoppers visit the mall in one day, how many are predicted to return during the same week? So let's set up a proportion with the given information. 45 come to the mall more than once a week out of the 120. So 45 out of 120, and we want to know if there are a thousand, how many of them would come back in a week again. So there's my proportion. I'm going to simplify this. Both of these numbers are divisible by five. So that fraction or ratio could simplify to nine over 120 divided by five is 24. 
equals x over a thousand. And now those numbers are just a little bit easier to work with. Nine times 1,000 is 9,000 equals x times 24 is 24x. And then I'm gonna divide by 24. And 9,000 divided by 24 is 375. So we would expect there to be 375 shoppers that would come back again later that week. Let's look at number four. A random sample of kids at a summer camp show that 15 kids like steak fingers, 35 like hamburgers, and 25 like pizza. If there are 375 at the summer camp, about how many students can we predict will like hamburgers? So the first thing I need to do is figure out the total of people that they surveyed. They told me what these kids liked, but they didn't tell me how many in total there were. So I need to do 15 plus 35, which is 50, plus 25, which is 75. So there's 75 total that were surveyed. And I'm wanting to use this information to predict how many out of the 375 will like hamburgers. So out of the 75, 35 said they liked hamburgers. So my ratio with the known information would be 35 over 75 equals, I want to know how many out of the 375 would like hamburgers. Okay, I'm going to simplify this ratio by dividing both of the numbers by 5. And 35 divided by 5 is 7, and 75 divided by 5 is 15. And now I'm going to cross multiply. 7 times 375 is 2,625 equals 15 times x is 15x. And then we're going to divide by 15. And I get 175. So that means we would expect 175 out of the 375 students to prefer hamburgers. And then five says the table shows the results of a random survey of 45 shoppers on what type of socks they prefer. Based on the survey results, if an athletic store orders 1,350 pairs of socks, how many should be ankle length? So we know that there were 45 shoppers surveyed and based on the survey, eight or 15 of them preferred ankle socks. So let's set up our ratio of our known information 15 out of the 45 prefer ankle socks. And the store wants to use this information to predict out of 1,350 how many would prefer ankle socks. I'm gonna simplify this fraction. Both of these numbers are divisible by 15. So that simplifies to one over three equals X over 1,350. And now I can cross multiply to solve. 1 times 1,350 is 1,350, and then x times 3 is 3x, so then I would divide by 3, and 1,350 divided by 3 is 450. So that means that we would expect 450 out of the 1,350 to prefer ankle socks.